It's time to review Cara Dune! <gasps> Baby Yoda! Baby Yoda! Flying around like Baby Yoda! Hey guys, me host Super Sorrel, thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's Cara Dune from The Mandalorian! What better day to review than a Friday, the day of The Mandalorian episode that she's gonna feature in is today! So what better day to review her than now? So guys, this is Cara Dune from The Mandalorian. I uh, believe she was once a um, Galactic uh, Civil War veteran. And she's now put the days of that behind her to become a bounty hunter. I believe that's what the story is anyway. So she's number 101 in the collection. There's a nice picture over here, the same one which is on the back along with this awesome write-up. Which states, a veteran of the Galactic Civil War who fought for the Rebellion, Cara Dune is a seasoned warrior who has put her days of military discipline behind her, and now reinvented herself as a mercenary. Sorry, mercenary, not a bounty hunter then. Um, the photorealism on the face is pretty decent from the pictures we've seen of her. And yeah, can't wait to see her in this week's episode. Stupidly excited by that. Let's break her out of the box, guys. I'm really excited. <laughs> So guys, I hope you're enjoying my Black Series reviews. We've still got one more to go this week, which will be um, Jana or Jaina. I'm not sure how you pronounce that yet. I believe she is from episode nine. So she'll be reviewed real soon, guys. And then don't forget, guys, I still have some more Star Wars fun to have with all the droids. I've got lots of build droids from, start, from the uh, last visit to Disneyland. So... Need to get those reviewed before the new movie. Alright, here she is out of the packaging. Ooh. Oh, she comes with a knife as well. Some nice accessories here. Pistol. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, when she was first announced, I assumed she was when when we saw the announced figure for the Heavy Mandalorian. I originally, because I saw that she was wearing, she was quite, um, the armor she wears is quite bulky and stuff. I assumed it was her, and then obviously once we saw that, that it was a deluxe figure and the size of it, I was like, no, it's definitely not her. <laughs> but I originally thought she was going to be the heavy, um, sort of Mandalorian armored version. I, I thought she was going to be a Mandalorian herself, but obviously not. But she does have some form of ink work on her arm there. It looks quite tribal to me. That's pretty cool. I'm loving the fact that they've even managed to create the braids in her hair. That is really nice. Along with the swish of the hair at the side there. They even captured a little mole beautifully. And again, the face looks really nice. Articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you can make her look down as well as up as much as this neck piece here will allow. As well as obviously left and right. Her arms do lift up. Uh, this pauldron pieces stay where they are when you lift her arms up, which is great. So you can rotate her at the bicep as well. With a single hinged elbow, which also rotates. Hands are on a ball joint there. You can crunch her forwards and backwards as well as side to side a little bit. No further weight swivel. Her legs do lift out pretty far though with a top thigh cut. As well as forwards, backwards with a double hinged knee here. And also a boot cut, nice. And the feet as well are on rocker and pivot. So I'm looking for a place for that knife because I would have assumed they would have given us like a boot holster for that, but it doesn't look as if to be the case. Uh, but they have given us a sidearm holster. So I can unclip the little belt here and pop in the pistol. And that should go in there quite nicely. And then the little piece pops back in. Beautiful. So you can use the fully working holster to your advantage. But I'm just looking because I can't seem to find anywhere that would seem to give us a place to put the knife. Which she does come with. A little knife here. Hmm. Should she carry that? Random. But she does also come with this really kick-ass... Um, I'm not sure if this is meant to be like a space shotgun. <laughs> I'm not sure what kind of gun this is going to be. Looks like it could be some form of like... Almost like what Chewie uses. Oh, is it meant to be like that? Oh, guys, I think mine's actually... I don't know, a little bit broken. As you can see, mine's actually open. The clasp itself is actually broken. 
Or is it because, ah, hang on, is it because he's, am I doing the wrong thing? Are we meant to attach it to the actual gun itself? Yes, we are, I think. I think we're meant to sort of wrap it like that around the actual middle part of the gun, I think. But yeah, this is a gun that you can two hand wield as well, so there is a little uh, hand piece up here as well as at the bottom there. So you can dual wield that. But I imagine it'll look much more badass if she's one handing that bad boy. Let me try and just slot that in the hand. Come on. Oosh. Trigger finger. Plastic's pretty stiff on this figure, which is good. It's not gonna fall floppy and go fall apart anytime soon. Blech. Yeah, I would have thought I assumed she would look much more badass like holding it up into the air. But yeah, if you want you can kind of have a pulling that across. And then if we get the second hand, pull that around. And then gently put that through the finger. Come on. There we go. And you can have a like that as well. For the purpose of this display, I think that's how I'm going to have her stood. Like that. Yeah. Still can't find anywhere for that knife to go. Are we just meant to just slot it in the waistband? So I can't see anywhere for that to go. Am I might be very thick and is it very obvious where it goes? I'm looking all over this figure, I can't see anywhere. So do you know what? I'm just gonna slot it there. <laughs> Right guys, let me go to desk cam to give you guys an up close personal look at Cara Dune. So let's go to the desk cam! Alright guys, here she is out of the packaging, it's Cara Dune! Let's try and get that face sculpt going, come on! There we go. Very nicely sculpted, like I said, they've done a great job of bringing that to life, very well painted. Not many paint tap issues with this, I've noticed. I'm liking the sort of dinks to the armour, so she is kind of like battle worn a little bit. The gun is a bit plain, I wish that had a bit more of a steel wash to it. Make it a bit more of a gunmetal look, it looks very plain, just silver. But it is very nice and on the same with the big barrel and stuff on it. The armour for Cara Dune looks really nice. They've done a great job of sculpting that and all the little like nuances, like the little silver bits in the boot. I just wish she had a holster for that knife. Again, I've just put mine there for now, I still can't see anywhere. Does it go sideways through there? No. Nope. <laughs> I thought it might have gone through the belt or something, but it doesn't. No, I still can't see where that goes. And again, they've got some form of like art or tattoo on her, on her arm there. I like the fact that all the, her armor pieces are kind of nice and dark blue. Although she has got some scuffs and stuff to the actual armor itself, which is nice. So it does feel like she's battle worn a little bit. What do you guys think of this character? Are you looking forward to seeing her on the episode of Mandalorian today? Finding out more about her, I believe it is episode 4 where she's going to come in from what we know. So, we're very excited to see her. And see what she's about. Sorry, my camera just doesn't like to focus for whatever reason. It could be the lighting. Yeah, great figure. I'm really happy with it, I'm super glad I have it in my collection. But of course, she's not complete without Let's bring in some other characters that we've seen so far in the series. So we do have the Jawa. Um, I don't actually have any off-world Jawas as of yet. I need to pick some of those bad boys up. Why? What I initially thought was her counterpart, the big Mandalorian. Of course, Baby Yoda! Baby Yoda! You're going to get annoyed with me singing that there at the end of this series of reviews, I promise you. And of course, the Mando himself. What do you guys think of this series of figures? I am stupidly happy. People keep asking me where this is from, by the way. This is the Yoda Mystery Mini from the third. I think it was the anniversary line for Funko. Uh, it was the Mystery Mini packs for, I think it was Return of the Jedi or maybe Empire. 
Yeah, it's a perfect little sh size, I think, compared to the six inch. I think it just looks perfectly sized. Might custom it and paint the eyes black and stuff. But yeah, it, lo it just looks good just for display purposes. I like having him just there. Hope we get some proper Baby Yoda merch real soon from Hasbro. It's much needed. <laughs> What do you guys think of the collection? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you smash the like button and leave us a comment down below. And thank you very much for watching. But let's go back to the, de the, the desk cam, sorry, the main cam and finish off today's video. So guys, what do you think of Cara Dune's figure? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, like I said earlier, please smash that subscribe button, hit the like button and leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to be part of the notification squad by hitting that bell icon so you so you get an update every time we up they upload a video. Sometimes you have to go into the app on your phone and actually click like notification settings, find my channel on your big list of channels, and I, I actually put to be notified because sometimes not hitting the bell is enough, which is ridiculous. So yeah, <laughs> just to let you know, YouTube's a fun place. <laughs> Oh, and everything that's happening in January, still not sure how that's going to land. We hope we're in the clear, but you never know. It's down to YouTube at the end of the day, not the FTC. YouTube could ruin everything still. So please make sure you add us on social media in case that does happen. I'm available on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at SuperSorrel. So make sure you follow me. Insta's a good place to follow me as I am actually posting videos on there that are not going here on the channel. Uh, I have got some more pop vinyl reviews for you this week, including Pennywise, The Knights of Ren, the exclusive Phoenix, uh, and of course Mandalorian. So make sure you uh, add me over there on Instagram for, ex for exclusive content. But guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. May the Force be with you.